Hey guys, this is your Trusted Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential tropical storm Zeta that could form in the Caribbean and impact Cuba, southern Florida, and the Bahamas over the next couple days. Before we get into this, I'd ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss an upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the National Hurricane Center's website. Epsilon has recently become a major hurricane and is not expected to make landfall in Bermuda. But in other words, there is a disturbance in the Caribbean that has a 20% chance of formation through five days. Any development of the system is expected to be slow. And regardless of development, heavy rainfall is possible in South Florida at times, Cuba, and the Bahamas at times through the weekend. Let's get right into the models. This is the latest GFS model, and this is Sunday, October 25th, and you can see this model tries to develop a system just before impacting Cuba, but is really unable to, and this model in particular does not have anything significant happening to Cuba and Florida and the Bahamas from the system. The latest GDPS model, however, does indeed have a system forming potentially a tropical depression or low-end tropical storm impacting the Miami area at that same time around October 25th, where that L1007 is, and it starts organizing more as it impacts the northern Bahama Islands, where that L1007 continues to be, and it pushes northeast still weak. You can see on October 27th, where that L1007 is, that's where that system is in the southeast and is not expected to impact any additional land after impacting Florida and the Bahamas. You can see the ECMWF model where that L1010 is on October 25th. You can see a potential system around the Bahamas. It is quite weak and doesn't manage to organize much until after Florida, but regardless of any kind of development, whether this forms or not, Florida will likely receive life-threatening rainfall. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic right now. You can see in the Caribbean, temperatures are very warm, 29 to 30 degrees Celsius waters, so if any storms can organize there, strengthening is expected. However, closer to Florida and the Bahamas, waters are slightly cooler with around 27 to 28 degrees Celsius water. Strengthening can still happen, but it's not as quite as guaranteed as if it were to organize before Cuba. Question of the day for this video today is where would you like to travel to? What is your dream location you want to travel to at some point in your life? Comment below your answers and I will come over. That's your trusted weather forecast for upcoming potential tropical storm Zeta. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.